Hi students and welcome to the second of the HSC topics, the acidic environment and this particular series of videos that I hope will help you to um, just fill some of those gaps in in your booklets and also to just give you a few of the basic ideas that we can explore later on in class. So this first video is really just an introductory one. Hopefully everything here will be um, of a nature of revision from perhaps some of the work that you remember from your junior years. <clears throat> so firstly, acids. Some important, um, I guess, characteristics of acids that we need to be aware of. First of all, this idea of the production of hydrogen ions. We're going to explore this a little bit more in um, later videos. So acids liberate hydrogen ions in solution. They have a sour taste. We associate that with things like citric acid, uh, the uh, acid in lemons, for example, is a sour taste. Strong acids are corrosive to the skin. They can actually cause damage. Because of the liberation of ions, they can conduct electricity in solution. They change color of indicators. Uh, probably the most common one you've used up to this point will be uh, litmus. And obviously litmus that's red stays red and blue litmus turns red. And some general examples include hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, uh, vinegar, which contains acetic acid, the lemon juice, and so on. Bases are another important group that we need to look at. Uh, probably our experience up to this point has been with things like sodium hydroxide, the most common base that is used in junior years, and also lime water, calcium hydroxide, uh, which we use for testing the presence of carbon dioxide. Now, bases feel soapy and they have a bitter taste. Uh, don't test this. We don't drink bases. Uh, there are a couple of acids we do, but certainly not all of those, uh, but certainly not, not one we want to be testing for the bases. Uh, they too, because of the ions in solution, in this case OH- ions, they will conduct electricity and uh, they also change the colour of indicators. Uh, in the case of litmus, they change it to blue, blue for base, um, uh, or if, uh, if it's already blue, obviously it stays blue. Soluble bases are called alkalis, so you might see the term alkaline um, come up quite a lot, and it simply means that it's a base that will dissolve in water. And some examples I mentioned above, sodium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide, ammonia, um, antacid tablets designed to counteract the acids in your stomach, and oven cleaners. Now, the third most important group that we need to look at are indicators, and we'll spend a little bit of time in these first couple of videos looking more closely at indicators. The important thing about indicators, indicators are dyes, they're pigments, um, usually derived from plant material, um, which changes colour in the presence of an acid or a base. So differing pH values, and again pH is something we will look at uh, in future videos. Most indicators are weak acids and they have a corresponding base, which is a different colour. Now, this is part of um, the idea of equilibrium, two um, product and reactant uh, substances both existing at the same time and which can be shifted in favour of one or the other. Now, that's a fairly important concept too that we'll look at uh, in future videos. A couple of the important um, Ba uh, indicators that you might want to have a look at. Litmus I've already mentioned, that, that uh, red or blue colour and a little bit of purple if you've got a solution both mixed together um, around a neutral pH. Um, but some other important indicators that we're going to be looking at in future videos include phenylphthalein, which is going to be extremely important for our titrations. Methyl orange, which is also a good choice for certain types of titrations when we're looking at acid-base reactions. And we also need to look at uh, bromothymol blue, so we'll have a look at that as well. Indicators are the substances that we use to identify the nature of different uh, substances around our home and also one of the ways that helps us to monitor um, the pH in our natural environments. So we'll have a look at each more of these in future uh, videos. Thanks for watching.